linear and circular motion, which powers the golf swing and which doesn't. Now linear motion or linear momentum is when an object is moving on a straight line. It tends to stay moving on a straight line. Now you can't use linear motion to swing a golf club fast enough. You can't use linear motion to get your club head moving 100 miles an hour, which is what you have to do to hit a ball 300 yards. What you have to do is use rotational motion and angular momentum, which multiplies the energy as it turns. Think of like a wagon wheel. The inside of the wheel moves just a few inches, but the outside moves like a foot or several feet when it turns. Big difference. Same works with your turn with your body. You turn around your spine. Now on the inside around your spine, you're just moving a couple of inches there. But your shoulder, which is on the outside of the wheel, it's turning a foot or more. You're getting a force multiplier here. This is acting like a lever as you're doing this turn. It's the first link in your kinetic chain. Okay, the next link in the kinetic chain, and we're thinking about wheels here, is our hands, our arms. So as we turn forward, remember the first part. We're thinking wheels. The first is our spine is the hub and our shoulders are the outside of the wheel. But now we're going to think of our shoulders being the hub of the wheel and our hands being the outside. See how little my shoulders move in comparison to my hands. So again, we're multiplying the force with the next link in the kinetic chain. And the next link, my shoulders are the hub of the wheel and my hands are the outside of the wheel. Remember in the first link in the chain, my spine is the hub and my shoulders are the outside of the wheel. Thinking in terms of wheels right now. The next link or wheel that we're thinking about is our hands will become the hub and the head of the club will become the outside of the wheel. Remember our motions first. Our spine was the hub, and then our shoulders were the outside of the wheel. Then in the next motion, our shoulders, or the le next link in the chain, our shoulders act as the hub, and our hand is the outside of the wheel. In our next motion, as we come, that pulls it down. Our next motion, our hand acts as the hub, and the head is the outside of the wheel, so it's pulling it down like that. So again, another wheel, the hand is the hub and the head is the outside of the wheel. So we've got three wheels or three links in our kinetic chain so far. Our spine and shoulders is the first wheel. Our shoulders and hand is the second wheel. And our hand and club head is our third wheel. Mm -hmm.